Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Scott Kirshner. 419-794-3030 is the number. That's 419-794-3030. You can always find them online, americasretirementheadquarters.com. Guys, it's hard to believe we're just weeks away from the end of 2022. And the new year is bringing changes to Social Security for new retirees. The uh, maximum income subject to Social Security payroll tax, that's going to increase. The maximum benefit paid to new retirees also going to go up. And the retirement earns limit is going to increase, but a special rule is going to apply to new beneficiaries. So I threw a lot out there really quickly. Let's break that down. What does it all mean? Because Social Security is already confusing enough. Can you help us figure out that puzzle? Social Security is you know, extremely confusing. There are some big changes that are going into effect for 2023. And it's important, you know, whether you're getting closer to or you're in retirement time to know you know, what are the Social Security changes in 2023? And as you kind of just highlighted there, if we look at uh, some of the changes, the maximum taxable earnings limit is going to increase. So it goes up each year to account for inflation. You know, for instance, up to $147,000 of income is subject to Social Security payroll tax in 2022. But that figure is going to rise by 9% to 160200 in 2023. Uh, the next change that is going into uh, impact is going to be the maximum Social Security benefits going to get bigger. You know, so the formula is adjusted each year to account for inflation. And that means the maximum benefit that somebody could draw in the future for typical retirement is going to be bigger than what it was uh, in the past. Mm -hmm. Number three is the retirement earnings limit's going to be higher, but a special rule applies to uh, new beneficiaries. Your retirement benefit amount is going to be reduced if you're under your full retirement age uh, and your income exceeds certain limits. So in 2023, the lower limit was 21240 and the higher limit was 56520 Nolan, let me, let me ask you on that because with Medicare, a lot of people are ask me in, in my meetings, they say, well, you know, should I take Social Security? And then obviously I refer them over to, um, you know, Chaz Price and, and Jeremy here at the office about that. But a lot of them want to know if they wait until their maximum retirement age for Social Security, but they still want to work. So let's say that their retirement age is 66 and seven months, but they still are working. How much money can they make at that point? Well, you know, once you reach your full retirement age, you don't have an income limitation. Perfect. You know, so that's what people need to understand is there's the, all of these different rules to navigate. Um, and if you don't navigate them correctly, you end up, you know, paying taxes on Social Security. You can have some of your benefits reduced. Um, you can have negative impacts on how it transitions over to everything. But one more positive. So another positive that's coming out of this is the monthly benefit for those folks that are already on retirement time uh, because of inflation. They're going to get an 8.7 percent increase in 2023. So I know retirees uh, have been, you know, obviously impacted uh as much or maybe more so than a typical family with inflation being so mm -hmm. high. And the good news is, is that number is going to come up. The, the challenging part for those folks that either aren't on Social Security yet or, or you're getting ready to retire, you need to make sure that you get the analysis put together on figuring out, you know, how the changes and choices that you make with Social Security are going to impact your lifetime income. Social Security can be one of the cornerstones of your retirement. And if you're not drawing Social Security now, the decision that you make can make tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of the average retiree's lifetime. Now, Scott, you've heard me talk about this before, and you, you know this number. But, you know, again, what percentage of people are selecting to take Social Security before their full retirement age? Well, I do know this, and it's 70%. Yeah, so 70% of people, you know, that are eligible for Social Security are selecting to take benefits before they get to their full retirement age, accepting a lifetime penalty that they're going to pay mm -hmm. and not thinking about what the impact is. And I would say it commonly falls into two categories. One is people say, um, I heard Social Security is going broke. Right. Mm -hmm. I better just get it while I can. Or... I ran the break even analysis and I had to live to, you know, my mid 70s before I even break even. Those two decisions, I think, can be costly decisions in the long run. If you look at it, the average uh, couple going into retirement time have hundreds of different options available on when 
could be the best approach to draw Social Security. As you pointed out, it may be better off to wait till you're in full retirement age. You can even delay Social Security in the example of the mm-hmm. person that you were talking about who's going to continue to work, and you're going to get an automatic 8% increase plus the cost of living, and you can delay your benefits up until age 70. So if you look at the difference between taking benefits early at the age of 62 versus delaying benefits to later at age uh, 70, it can make a big, big difference. And so what somebody needs to do is you need to have a Social Security optimization report run. If you're not collecting Social Security, that's what could help you determine what could be your best approach on when to draw Social Security. The people at the Social Security office are prohibited from giving you advice on when to draw benefits. Mm -hmm. That's really not what their job is. Their job is to help you get the most amount of benefits the day that you want to apply, which may not be the right decision for you and your family to make. I know one of the things is you talked about some of the advisors at our office. We have this software where we can run an analysis for you. So if you're getting closer to retirement, you're within five years of retirement, and you haven't got a Social Security optimization report, that, again, is something I would encourage you to call our office. We can take a look at. We'll get you that Social Security optimization report. We can show you, like, first and foremost, when you came in, what were you thinking was going to be the approach? And we run those numbers. We can run the numbers and we can say, you know, if you took what the computer mathematically thinks could be your best approach, what that looks like. And then we can also run some, you know, other options, you know, what does option C look like and run some different scenarios. And by doing that is going to allow you to become much more educated about all the changes in Social Security and then how to apply it to your situation so you can make a better educated decision about what's right for you and your family. You know, it's the, the numbers are staggering when I meet with all of the clients coming in for a Medicare uh, they just don't know this. It's kind of like, the, you know, why I do, you know, Medicare events and, you know, educational meetings like that is to help educate the people on their different options, right? That's all I'm really doing. And I am surprised at the number of people that really have no idea why they chose to sign up for Social Security. You know, some of them, like you said, well, you know, Social Security is going to run out. A, a lot of them, some people just quite frankly need that income. And that's okay if you need that income, but but I am very very surprised at the number of people that have not been guided or helped or, or sought treatment or um, um, advice for when to sign up for uh, uh, Social Security. So like like Nolan said, you know you sign up for Medicare on the Social Security website. You have questions about Social Security. Uh, we've got the resources here to help you with that. And truth be told, there are hundreds upon hundreds of different ways to claim Social Security, which means that there's going to be a lot of them out there that probably aren't going to work in your favor. So having something like a Social Security optimization report uh, done for you, which is complimentary, by the way, uh, can go a long way to to making a pretty significant difference in your retirement and not to d- d- defend people who, you know, who just guess on a whim. But it's one of those things that you don't think about when you're in the working world. You know, the money comes out of your paycheck. You know, that Medicare is going to be something that happens down the line, but haven't really given much thought about it in the working world. But as they get closer and closer to retirement, they just think, oh yeah, I should probably go ahead and turn that on. Not always going to be the right move. More often than not going to be the right move. Having that social security optimization report run is as easy as giving a call and requesting it. 419-794-3030. You can also reach out to the team at americasretirementheadquarters.com.